Oh, you're too fast for me there. <laughs> so I just gotta fix the camera. Totally wasn't ready. There he is. <gasps> the game is not finding the game. Where are you, game? Find the game. There we go. Got there in the end. I thought I had it ready early as well. It's very loud. There we go. I was right up on the volume. There we go, people. I'm actually on time for once as well. Wow. Relatively stupid. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. How's it going, Count? Uh, what were you playing earlier? I did see in the corner of my eye that you were you were streaming something. What was it? Uh, what was today's game? That's still cool, though. Oh, I need to go on the actual main screen. I'm looking at uh, slobs. Okay, so <laughs> we're playing fucking easy mode here, so I apologise for that. But it wasn't my fault. Did you have a good run on it, or is it like... Um, I've not played it before, so is it one of those ones where you play for, for like a few hours? Um, or is a run like... Yeah, how, how long is like a game of Skylines? Oh, didn't I do the boss and then died? What did I die doing? What did I diddly die doing? I can't remember where I'm going. Oh, I do remember this. We're gonna burn a shoe down. I've been playing too many different games. The control methods are all getting mixed up. Oh, fair enough. That makes sense. One thing I've still not got into yet. I bought a Phoenix Point and I've just not spent much time with it. I really need to. I played it for a few hours. So I was like, yes, this is great. And then I just haven't picked it up since. Cinderella on the left, Snow White on the right. But something's wrong. What did I do before dying? Did I... I survived the fight on the carousel, didn't I? That's what happens. One day passes. I can't fucking remember shit. Phoenix Point. Yes, um, the... The guy that originally made XCOM from the 90s, his game. Um, it didn't crash or anything, oh shit. I just, I, something else, I started playing something else. I got it when I got the PC, so I was a bit overwhelmed with the amount of like games I suddenly had. So I didn't stop playing it because there was anything wrong with it. Just too much on my plate. Oh, Silent Hill. Oh, it crashed, didn't it? That's what it was. I was going through a doorway and it just went, nope. Am I going in the wrong direction? Oh, yeah, because we did the bit with the chain. 
we on the chain bit now? I might make a save just before. Uh, yep, you read my mind. You, you read my mind there. Oh my god, I had so much fucking food. Right, I'm going to make a save here. Because it doesn't let you save during boss fights. So, mind you, do I still have to do the chain bit first? I can't remember. That was to open a gate. That wasn't to get a boss fight. Yeah, because that was rockets. This is the carousel. Okay. So I've got to beat up the horses first. Can I... Can I save here? Really? So I'm lucky I've got it in English still then. I should count my blessings. Although it would have been funny if it turned like uh, Spanish or something because I would have been able to still like understand most of it. Well, I would have been able to understand like maybe two thirds of it just by context. Oh, right, yes, it's that one and that one. This is number three. I'm not actually hitting it very often, am I? I've got to be quicker than this, Luke. Come on. This is number four. Five. Come on. I'm gonna put my phone that's it there. I'm so full. Huh. But the next time you went and you reloaded it, it was fine, I'm ga I gather. Oh, what are you doing, Luke? Cool. She's, bless her, she's knackered. Oh. She's well tired. Gonna save over and over. Is that it? Okay. All dead, aren't they? They started again. Nope. Okay. Okay, until she gets the gun, it's not too bad. And they change horses as well. It's a little bit odd. But this game's a little bit odd anyway, so it's not like that changes much.
it is very I do enjoy the visuals here come on start slicing there we go oh that's just the first round okay get your breath back Not the best camera angle, but there we go, she's still... Am I hitting the horse as well? It's doing a wobbly head thing. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a highlight of the game, this part. It's weird calling something so like horrific looking a highlight, but it is. Where's she running to? Fair play, she got a hit in. Oh, it's getting a bit slower now. Yeah, it won't let me save during the boss fight. Oh, yes, you've got a fucking Uzi. Oh, wow, she hit me. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Heather takes fucking ages to stand up. Do they all take ages to stand up in this game? Or in Sun Hill? You gonna stay down? You gonna stay down? Or you gonna chew at my toes? Cheeky. To be fair, I'm the one that's stun locking her, so I shouldn't really complain. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I was trying to think for the times I did die. I definitely died, so. But I can't remember. It didn't seem, it seem to stand out as much, though. Right, super saving! Oh, I just saved on number 40. Fine. Why not? It would be better for myself to die after all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it's birthed, I decided that instead of suffering the cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa, I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are me, but you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. Let's get off the ride. <laughs> straight, in, straight in with the cat ears. Hey, Beta, how's it going, buddy? Oh, well, I said straight in. You gave it five minutes, so that's not entirely... That's not... Well, no, 15 minutes. Am I meant to do the thing now, am I? Every time I don this, I'm meant to go... Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I've got to fix it first. God damn it, why does it always do this? Full cam. Oh. Apart from, I can't tell where the fucking thing is on my head. There we go. We're sorted. And then back to the game. It was the Countess, huh? Thank you, Countess. Now, I've got the cat ears. I need cooler ears. I mean, it's it does raise the, raise the camp. 
So, is it is it running okay in 1080? I was wondering about this. I'll raise it even higher if I can. And this is the door that it didn't load on. Oh yeah, load right on the door. Nice. Cool. I mean, I can try it higher again. So I tend to run them at 1440. Um, okay, let's try this door. Is that the door that it fucked up on before? I think so. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these heal us these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the mir miraculous descent. And a ridiculous lie. You told me to drop the prices on those beta, and then you come into my stream and you use it straight away. I'm not. I felt guilty. I felt guilty for raising the price. I no longer feel guilty. Um, okay. Okay. <sighs> Let it percolate a little while. <laughs> yeah, you are collecting, and you seem to be spending them well as well. Yeah, give it a couple minutes to percolate, we'll see. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise. O oh Lord, we will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. <laughs> I need to find something else, another, something else to do points on. Okay, a lie. O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, shower us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favour us with your abundance. None of them seem to realise the place they're walking around in is hell. Um, okay, so before I came to this planet, I was, um, I used to live on another planet, strangely enough, and an asteroid, but more about the planet. I can't remember its name, it was so long ago. I've I've been alive for a couple thousand years and these things get hazy. But what doesn't become hazy is um, the uh, interstellar racing we used to do. If you can imagine wacky races, but from from planet to planet rather than like one end of a country to another. This was from planet to planet. And uh, you'd start on one planet, you'd go all the way around, like you'd circumnavigate it all the way around, then you'd leave, launch into space, and then you'd, as fast as you could, go through an asteroid belt and then to another planet. And, and on that planet, you had to also circumnavigate that to go all the way around once. Anyway, it was going fine. I was in first place. Um, I was, I was, I've been in first place for a while. About, you know, about an hour or two. It's, it's, a, it's a big old distance. Um, I won't tell you about the middle part. I'll tell you about the second planet, the, the planet that we actually got to. And we're going around and I'm in my Trans Am. Well, it's, it's a modified space Trans Am. It's got extremely high wheel arches. It's fucking sweet. It is chrome to fuck. Anyway, I'm racing towards the red line at the end, and I'll, I'll, I'll fill it in other parts of this story another day, but I just want to tell you how it ended today. Um, as I was going towards the end, uh, the ground erupted, and I didn't know that this planet, the people that were on it, didn't want this race to happen, so they awoke this beast. Uh, this beast came out of the ground... A potentialed beast, as they always are, screaming noises as I was getting my fingers were becoming bloody as I was steering because I just I could see the red line, and it would stomp down. And just as it stomped down, it crushed the front of my Trans Am, launching me out the front of it. And as I was going forward through the air, my competitor was driving just behind me. They had caught up because of the ruckus. And they managed to catch me, and I surfed on top of their car, going towards the red line, 
and then I just stood on the front of their bumper, leaning forward into the wind, and that's how I won the race. The intergalactic, well, the interplanetary space race. It's completely true. I would have put more names to that if, if, if I had given it more time to percolate. I'm sorry I didn't have more names. Like I said, it was a couple thousand years ago. It gets hazy. Well, this wind was on the land because it was on the planet, so. The door to the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. The guy that I landed on his car, he was not happy that he won, considering he basically, I rode his car to over the red line. But, you know, sucks to be him. He came second. He won like 17 billion squiddly spoons. It was fine. 17 billion squiddly spoons, obviously, back then is different to how much it's worth now. Inflation and everything. Well, wind is space. It's just moving air. Or just moving space, I suppose. Thank you for that, Beta, putting me on the spot within 15 minutes. <laughs> I totally didn't read what it said on that door. Okay, some fucking stained glass windows. How did you get here? Quirky and quacks. Wow, you don't hear of quirky and quacks these days. Not very often, anyway. The Quarkians, I mean, it it dropped severely after the. The rebellion of Quarkian Free. But it's been gaining ground again. It's not un completely unlike the Iraqi Dinar. It's similar. When they. Oh, I, I, I should watch this story. <laughs> I'm still waffling. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Mm, I don't trust her. That's not what I want. Not you. Alessa. Your true self. <laughs> but I am Alessa. <gasps> my little Claudia. My dear, sweet sister. Alessa. Is it you? Just to put a bullet between her eyes. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. To be fair, I say things should be cleansed with fire, but it doesn't necessarily mean I want to end the whole world. I just I just enjoy cleansing things with fire. Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need we all need God's salvation. Listen. Suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. She's gonna realize. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. <gasps> I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! It's growing within you. She's in a lot of pain by the sound of things. You despise me, don't you? You're damn right I do! We need that! I think my copy of Final Fantasy VII might arrive tomorrow. And it'll be very, very exciting. I'll more likely do an unboxing if people want an unboxing. I've never done one live before, so... I do have a couple on my YouTube, but... I'm very excited. I've uh, Today, I... I listened to a review. There's a guy I watch for reviews. It's called ACG Angry Centaur Gaming. I've never known him as Angry Centaur. I just... ACG... Um, he's normally, mine and his views align quite well, which is why I like him stuff. Even though I would say, 
I, I tend to prefer console games, generally speaking, and he tends to be a PC person. But our thoughts align more often than not. Um, and I, I, I turned on his review and I looked down to the side for like 15 minutes and the review was, it was really well done. It, it pointed out some problems, it said how, what he enjoyed and I really respect the guy because yeah, I could look away and he didn't say a single spoiler because normally sometimes some spoilers can kind of go under the radar when you're looking at the visuals. But because I was looking away, I could I heard his whole script and he didn't give away anything that would I would consider spoiler. So yeah, that was that was cool and it made me more excited. Yeah, I might do it. Hopefully it'll arrive tomorrow. I don't know what people are doing about streaming though, because supposedly it's still in, uh, in an embargo. Sorry, I just had food before starting this burping. Um, the embargo was for the tenth, but I've seen reviews coming out now, so surely that embargo is kind of useless. When they've been sending out games, there isn't a technically an official street date anymore. I got the Eye of Night tarot card. Got at the Eye of the Night. Uh, Eye of the Tiger is the song that was number one when I was born. Da -da -da is my birth song. Yeah, that's what I was worried about because I think I can do an unboxing live, that's fine. But I was thinking of waiting to the 10th before I actually do any streaming. And I've got to do it on my PS4, which isn't it isn't great, but it's better than not having it at all. I've saw some some people streaming it on there, but the numbers were so low streaming it. I was like, yeah, for a game of that caliber to only have a small like two or three people streaming it means that they don't care if they lose their well, they might care if they lose their account, but I think they're going to lose their accounts. But I don't know, I could be wrong. Is there anything in here of any use? Not by looks of things. Um, I honestly, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, Final Fantasy VII was always right up there. Um, was Borderlands last year now? I think it was last year. Okay, so there's a bunny rabbit, there's a house, and there's a map, and the chapel is around there. Even though I was just at the chapel. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what's coming out. It's weird because I've, I'm I'm more on PC these days. I haven't actually checked out what's new on console. Uh, Last of Us has been pushed back. Um, I love the first Last of Us. And I was kind of a little bit annoyed that they were making a sequel to it. Because I thought it... I thought it was great by itself. I didn't think it had to be uh, sequelized. Oh. How about yourselves in the chat? Is there any games that you're looking forward to? Cyberpunk. Please also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. God, I am a child trembling with. Oh, I will respond to what you've put there, Count. Just waiting for the, this, this to end.
No. Anything going to happen here? Yeah, there's definitely some good voice acting here. And the the facial animations aren't bad actually. They're not not bad at all, especially for its time. I know when it's when it's straight on, it's wonky, but when it's at an angle, it works quite well. Um, what should I say? Um, erotic horror game, cool. Um, you don't get many like um, I would say erotic games on console. You tend to get stuff that's kind of lots of boobs, but not much else. Um, Cyberpunk, alright, this is my unpopular opinion. I'm not a big fan of The Witcher. I, I didn't hate it, but I just I just didn't like it either. Um, but I'm a massive fan of the cyberpunk genre. I love um, Ghost in the Shell, I love Battle Angel Alita, um, Snow Crash, some of the older um, cyberpunk stuff. So I love the genre in itself, and considering this is based on the story that created the genre, I am excited for it. Is it based on it? No, it's not based on it. It's based on... Cyberpunk is one of the earliest ones. Because was it... Is it Mona Lisa Drive? The first one of that? Anyway. I am looking forward to that. And Destroy All Humans. I've I've not actually played that. I've seen... the. I remember the cover art. I've seen the cover art several times. Um, isn't it um, Martians? Or aliens kind of killing humans. And now I can kill all the babies. Is that what she's going to say? Speaking of killing all the babies, where's Malvase? Where's she hiding? Okay. What happened to Konami, man? You serious? They use the same. They use the same voice actor for Zim. That's fucking brilliant. Is that something they've been doing for a while? I fucking love that voice actor. Oh, fucking camera angles. Wow, one thing, I need to fucking use some health. Secondly, I don't know how to use the thing my housemate sent me. It's like a water cooler for my computer. But it looks for it pretty fucking cool. Yes, I believe that's Claudia. Yeah, because she called it Claudia. Okay, so now in my head I've got fucking Resident Evil. I keep on thinking it's going to tell me whether there's items in the room or not. It doesn't tell me if there's items, does it? Um, let me investigate around here first. There's that door. Okay, let's dodge the tall guy. Shelves are covered with files, folders, and boring books. 
and then I just completely skipped whatever she was saying. There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's handwritten copy of some book. It represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry, symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are Charity and Resurrection. The three inner circles are Present, Past and Future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colours, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. What was that tape that I picked up? Ooh, oh. Set tape. Oh, we've got a combination item here. Right. I've not seen a cassette player anywhere. And I don't know what I would combine with a tarot card. Oh, one of the chunky boys. So mind me, chunky boy. I get the feeling that in Silent Hill, nothing ever truly dies or nothing is truly ever alive. Do those footprints just... Those footprints are appearing as I'm watching them. That's pretty creepy. Confessor is an unseen optional character from Silent Hill 3, which may be directly encountered with Heather Mason. See, I was under the impression it might have been her mum. Oh, I thought you were asking if Claudia was the woman beforehand. Okay, I'll go through there in a second. Oh, we've got another door here. Do I have... Okay, so I'm drawing the I'm drawing the map as I'm seeing it. Okay, so that's probably where I use the tarot card. Let me come back. That's not running this game, Luke. Oh, right, there we go. God damn Resident Evil controls are in my head. Didn't want to go straight down. Didn't didn't want to do that. Something I'll never get right on Silent Hill games is oh look at him. He's got like looked like he had fucking tonfer or something. Oh, it's that guy. Game definitely goes more in for the blood over the um, the rust. Or is that meant to be the point that you can't tell the difference anymore? It's a big old fucking church, that's for sure. Something there. Silent Hill's ancient gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This, is one no this one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may have given the names and descriptions of Christian angels that shared characteristics began to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with the demon's name. Of course, this is, was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Yeah, a bit like when Christianity basically... Well, the Romans did that here with our version of paganism. Another tarot card, the moon.
Oh, that's old guy with the glasses. Yes, you could question whether it was rust to begin with. That's a good point. That's a good point. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Mm-hmm. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. It's true. We believe in the same God. <gasps> but I'm quite sane. <laughs> but I'm quite sane. <laughs> but my talking duck familiar, he's not quite as sane. Same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't want God to be born. It wouldn't be convenient. <laughs> Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. Right, that's at 100%. I don't have powers like you two. Besides. I always hated getting all... How's that? Sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> that book in the background's going nuts. Don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out you feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives i've turned it up on here as well i'm not sure if that affects it but By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it! You mean this thing? Isn't Metatron, isn't Metatron the voice of God? Yes, that's it. As he is crazy as fuck. That, refined. Here, take this. I don't want your crazy old book, old man. Bound in human flesh and written in blood. Just making sure the sound wasn't coming from the TV rather than here. It is Alan Rickman. We're going to resurrect Alan Rickman. Oh, that's made me sad now. That book stands out. Silent Hill's Ancient Gods, a study of the etymology and evolution. Is this the same one? Looks like the same book. It is the same book. Excuse me. Looks like real mind benders. I think I'll leave them alone for now. Let's book on tarot here. Tarot was based on the 22nd Hebrew 
consonants and is said to represent the entire world. Each card numbered 1 uh, 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmati dogmatism, and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on the lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly transcendental existence, i.e. God. Eliphas Levy would love it. There's a sheet of paper here, but it's blank. Ah, okay. He's God's stenographer. <laughs> okay, so it's, I reckon I need three tarot cards. And one of them will be on one of the lower floors, I expect. Let's go down. I keep on thinking I've got to go to a... Um, chest to put my items in. She doesn't need a chest, she'll carry all the shit with her. Okay, so we've got lots of doors here. But this is the shortest length. That looks toasty! Well, that's barred. Locked. And open. Nope, she can carry as many weapons as she goddamn likes. It would have been funny if it did turn Spanish. Oh, is this room going to load? Because I've not saved in a while. Hmm. Well, that sucks. To be fair, I haven't done that much, I suppose. Lame. <laughs> yes. That's right, it's no one's fault. I'll quickly get it started, but I will... It's weird for me to say that I'm going to save more often. When I save fucking loads. Let's give that another go. Let's see. I can just skip through the conversations, though. I'm just trying to think when was the last time I saved. Um, it couldn't have been that far back. I can skip stuff. It might have been... Okay, I know. I think I know. It was after the talk with What's-Her-Face. 456... Four, five, six. We can race through it. There's, I didn't really find any items, did I? Apart from the tarot card. I've got to make sure I get that. It's got the bunny rabbit. Oh, it's this bit here. There was... was this locked? Yeah. But I take it we're going to unlock it from the other direction. Dodge the big guy. There wasn't anything in here. Then we checked all the rooms and then we walked past the chunky boy. Set tape, yeah. Speed run. <laughs> okay, so the first tarot card wasn't in this room then. Okay.
I'll go wait for her to walk there, okay? Okay, so that's the room I wanted to avoid until I had all the tarot cards. Oh, Netflix are doing one, are they? I know Microsoft endorsed, um, what was it, um, Ghost in the Shell Arise. I've not watched any of Ghost in the Shell Arise, so I don't know if it's any good. But is it is it not Arise? Is it a very, is it a, a new series? Because yes, I do love me some Ghost in the Shell. <laughs> Ghost in the Shell fans are never happy. I think unless Studio Perot, or whatever it was, that did um, the standalone complex does it, they'll never be happy. I'm, I'm more of the mind that I'm just happy we're getting something. Although I do know... I, I was put off a little bit by the fact that Arise had... Um, um, Oh shit, that's one thing I did forget to do from last time. Um, Arise has... And I've already got one of the tarot cards, cool. Um, Arise... I'm going to finish this sentence, I promise. Arise had... Product placement in it, Microsoft product placement. But I'm pretty sure it's Microsoft that allowed them for it to be made. So I'm like... It, it evens itself out. Oh cool, I'll check that out in a moment. Oh, and Square isn't going to reload, Luke. Fucking kick him while he's down. Right. I'll just quickly check this... Check this floor, then I will check that... Trailer out. Oh, yeah, and Matey's going to arrive and waffle at me. No, 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 no. I would say if you get the chance to watch the standalone complex, then definitely watch it. The problem is, I'm not sure what it's like there, but in the UK, it's it until the movie came out, it was really hard to get hold of any of it. For some reason, it was like they didn't want people to watch it. Um, but I think it was, they were limiting it so more people would go to see the movie. That, that was kind of my theory. Um, but stand in the standalone complex one and two are both phenomenal. If a bit slow, just because of the time it was made, the pacing was a bit off. Do I now have two? Um, the first movie, fantastic. Two TV series, fantastic. Second movie, it was alright. Um, the first movies, well, the first and the second movie, the closest thing I can compare them to is, um, if you've seen, everyone pronounces this differently, Studio Ghibli, Studio Ghibli, Studio, Studio Ghibbles, I call them, Studio Ghibbles. You know how at any one point in time there's always somewhere being animated in the background? Like, it's, it's hard to... It's hard to find somewhere that's not being animated. Ghost in the Shell was very much like that. If you watch it, and not the TV series, the movies, then you can look in the background in the tiniest section and it'll always be animated somewhere. The level of detail is just phenomenal. I personally compare it to Akira in that respect, but obviously Akira is its own beast. Um, but I would... I would watch... I don't think it really matters which way you watch the movies to the series, because they're kind of separate. Yeah, watch all of Gits. Um, if you watch it, and you're annoyed by the little robots, that it's got high-pitched robots in it. They are badass. You'll see why they're badass at the end, and it's worth them being... At first, I used to hate them, until I watched the entire series through, and I saw a scene... There's a certain scene with them in, and then after that, I fucking loved it. Every time they're on screen, I absolutely fucking adore them. So much so that I've got a, a toy one over there wearing a sombrero. Um, I will show that off on cam sometime because that's one of my favourite models. Um, I should save. 
There's a fucking moth. Yeah, they're high pitch and they're annoying, but they're fucking lovable. Right, let's check out this. Ooh. Oh, it's sort of CG then. <laughs> it's got the tachycomas in it. Brilliant. Oh, I already like it. I already like it. Dude, this looks fucking awesome. This looks fucking excellent. What are they complaining about? And Major Kusanagi looks like a fucking babe as well. Okay, that music may be a bit off, but... Project IG, okay. Standalone complex, 2045, okay. How can they... Right, let me put this back. Only on Netflix. April. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's already April. Is it... Well, I need to quickly go back. Is it out now? Yeah, some of it looks simplistic. I need to cut this this stream short if it's on Netflix. Um, I, if it is canon... Well, I say canon loosely. Um, if it is set after the second standalone complex, which it looks like it is... Because it is a standalone complex. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can see the style that it might look a bit bland to some people. But, well, to everyone for that matter. Uh, they're kind of cell shaded, kind of lacking in detail. Um, Um, what was I going to say? But it looks like the team, that Project IG is the team that did the first standalone complex. So if it's anything, if they've got some hand in it, then I would have thought that's a good sign. And there's very few... I don't often get... In, <sighs> Ghost in the Shell is cyberpunk and political intrigue and action. Short bursts of action. And I'm not into political intrigue. But Ghost in the Shell made it cool for me. And the Tachikomas are in it. Fucking Tachikomas are badass. Oh, where am I going? Wrong way. Fucking love the Tachikomas. Right, hold on. One second. Do, 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 do. Why is it doing this sometimes? Okay, there we go. All right, give me a second. Do 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 do. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, it's not loading properly. Oh. I don't know why it fucks up that camera, but there he is, the little, oh shit, little touch camera. I had a friend paint him for me. It's very, very delicate, but... There we go. Beep, 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 beep. Fucking so cool. I 
And I've got a sombrero on him, but there we go. Fucking K is. Right, there we go. Right, I'll stop showing off spider robots. Although people should show off spider robots more often. Oh, there's Resident Evil as well, is there? Huh. I'm the last person to know about everything. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, so this one, this is the door that crashed. The door that crashed to the Silent Hill. Well, not this door, but... Okay, I came through there. Check these cells first. I go right to the end. And then I'm going to save. Hello, fourth person to the stream. Hope you're doing okay. Be you a lurker, be you a chatter. I hope you're everything's good. Oh, I shouldn't have said katanas in the fog. I should have said katanas in the mist. Lost opportunity right there. Oh, I fucking hate those. Okay. Right, I need to go back to that fucking door. I've missed a door. That might lead me back to it though. Right, I'll take the first one on the right and see where it takes me. Fucking nowhere, of course. Well, this is... I recognise this room. Let me collect everything, including that key. Brass key. Is this the room from the second game? It is the room from the second game, isn't it? Because that's the... Oh, there's tarot cards. Oh, oh, right. I need more than fucking three, then. I need nine. Drawing block. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. The front cover there's a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? It never left here. Some sort of landscape. Where's it from? Yeah, those are the creepy dolls. We couldn't get the right angle on them. I know it wasn't me, unless I wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't one of those beautiful chapels, it was some other altar somewhere else. Oh. Yeah, I was testing to try and get um, Silent Hill 5 working. Um, I tried that yesterday and. I won't lie, it was being a pain in the ass. Um, I downloaded from the same site we got this from, and it was just having none of it. So I'm going to give that another try tomorrow, because I did manage to get it working through PCSX2. God, that's such a mouthful. Um, but that was actually giving me a headache, playing it through PCSX2. But it was an okay quality overall. Okay, I don't mind you guys. You guys are fine. But... I don't like missing doors. Oh, they're a bit faster. They're a noisy couple, aren't they? Let's wait for her to walk where she's going. Yeah, that might be what it is. Because I just felt queasy.
I mean, I got it working okay. It was an okay resolution, but um, the shadows were wonky as hell. I'm not one that cares for for shadows myself. April twenty third. Oh. Set a reminder. April twenty third. Ghost in the shell. Boom. Done. Okay. Uh, I don't like leaving those doors unchecked at the top. I'm going back. I can't deal with it. Even though I'm probably going to have to backtrack there anyway. I can't do it. I can't deal with it. Must return. Must return. Those things are creepy as fuck. Right. Let's check out the warm room, the toaster. Looks like a parallel walkway. It looks like a very warm parallel walkway. Yeah, I I started thinking that things were starting to overlap with each other. Yeah, they were just notepads, yeah. I keep on wanting to go up to them as if they were save points. Is there going to be someone looking at a TV? Or oh, mind you, he... When you when you find him dead, he's in front of the TV. This room looks like just like Dad's. It's more than just a resemblance. Dad's not sleeping in the bed though. No, because he's fucking dead. More than likely, kind of, maybe. This writing is Dad's diary. Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that the girl is a reincarnation of a lesser. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You're an unloved Cheryl, Cheryl. Or was that a lesser? Now Cheryl is a lesser again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was by my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. So I was a lesser after all, but I do just have a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. There's fucking blood everywhere. Gotta remember to check everything. Because of fucking Resident Evil, I keep on thinking in my head, Ah, oh, if I leave the room, it's fine, I'll just look on the map. No. Oh, okay. Oh. Because that's where he saved his notes. That would make sense. Was that door locked or just not open? Or did I not check it? Doors open. Inside there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe, no, they're definitely dead. Of course they're fucking dead. But it looks like there's a tag or something. Oh, there are loads of them have tags. Ooh, there we go. Hangs Man Tarot. Nice bit of leg there. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, so I did miss that one up there. Okay, I'm happy now. I can continue southward.
Okay, that's all the doors checked. Fucking seriously, fuck you guys. Aim for that one up there, please. Kind of wish you could go to first person mode in this, just to look around, even if you couldn't interact with anything. Wrong button. That's not map here. Is that actually a dead end? Oh, who's this? And there's legs hanging down. Now that's the guy from the intro. Okay. Something written stuck in this book. Yay! I got the full tarot card. This book, hmm, I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. Aglophotis? Aglophotis? Red liquid or crystals resembling blood, according to the Kabbalah. The name is taken from an, a herb with. Uh, an herb. A herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. And this is in the first game, isn't it? 24 years ago, Dahlia used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I wouldn't, couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. Stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to remember them because I'm not a lesser anymore. But a lesser is still me and I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Fair play. Volatile. Okay. Voltiel. Oh, I thought from a distance that looked like a notebook. It's a picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I was always looked like that back then. Okay, so I've got four cards, but I did leave that room with the uh, uh, with the thing on the floor. Just I didn't go through there and I didn't look at it, so there could have been a door exiting there. So that's upper floor, and that is that door there. And if those tarot cards aren't for that room, there might very well be something in there because I think those tarot cards are for the bedroom with the butterflies in it but there was nine of those um, okay onward
Oh, this is the room. I didn't want to go here first. I'll put. I'll see if I can put them in there ahead of time. Oh, the cassette tape. Oh, I don't know which order they go in yet. Right. There's that as well. She's just beyond this. I don't know. Oh, I'm not sorry. My memo written. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of someone extremely dangerous, some even sickening, or maybe that's what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God, I'm not. But I fully intend to save her. No, them. The last entry was written 17 years ago. <sighs> Looks like Dad wrote this too. No cassette player, though. Eh. Are those cards on the floor? No. We've got this. Have I just gone round in a circle? I haven't. But I can't remember what's in this room, so I'll go check again. Oh, it's this room. So a notepad. What's that? Is that that's TV or VCR? Not a dis cassette player, though. God damn it! I want to use a cassette player, please. Give me your cassettes. All your corset corsets. All your corsets are us. This isn't the right place either. Where the fuck have I gone? I need to go up a floor. Don't I? Anyway. I was wondering why I went past the toasty room. It, it reminds me of being... What it would be like to be inside a toaster. Up we go. Then at some point we're going to have a puzzle with the tarot cards. What order to put them in. I'm hoping it isn't full nine, maybe it's just a certain amount. Okay. St. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's... Bl oh, here we go. St. Jennifer. St. Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And I'm the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappearing with God 17 years ago, and the me here and now, that sort of life. St. Nicholas, miraculous hands of a doctor of God. He's got a really long neck. A doctor of God. Circle means reincarnation, that's what it said on the paper back there. So death isn't the end, pretty good deal if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as a lesser, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. Uh, oh, it is just a save point. Just a fancy one. Oh, I would have to find nine fucking tarot cards. Um, okay. Excuse me. Okay. Well, there's that door over there in the south of that section. Why didn't I go through that? Let me run back there and see why I didn't go through it. If I 
tracking map spins me the hell out. So through a doorway. With old butt head. Uh, I need to turn to the right. Don't mind me, chunky boy. Oh shit, this is different. Oh damn, this is going fucked up. Cool fucked up though. This is cool. Oh, it helped if I face the right way though. The flames should be cleansed in the flames. Cleansed in the flames. Oh, he's going backwards. That's the most evil guy there is. He crawls backward. No one. You can't trust people that crawl backwards. Oh, here we go. We're in the school from the first game. It's a handout with our classroom resolutions written on it. Hmm, doesn't say anything about abandoning your friends or scribbling on desks. Oh, alright. Oh, I remember this desk. Go home, drop dead, thief. This used to be a lesser's. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time. That's a cool callback right there. Fair play. There's a ratty old notebook on the podium. Oops, there's a letter stuck in there too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one that I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Oh. Oh. This, this, is it still working? Am I still... My screen just went wonky. Hey, thank you for the follow, Elsmine. Oh, ESL Minecraft. Sorry, my encoder just went wonky on the side. It said that it cut out. Thank you very much. You're the first follow I've had in some days, so I really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you come back often. I hope you stay often. And even if you want to chat. Oh, I had to refresh my chat, so I might have missed something that you've written, by the way, because my, my screen fucked up. So, who is the Vatiel guy that you're mentioning? The one that's mentioned in the book that I read earlier. Oh, I love it when people follow. That really makes, me, makes my day. Okay, sorry, I'll read through this. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitiful, dark, pitifully dark for a six-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you first, my ask you my friend for your opinion first. K. Gordon. Okay, Gordon. Picture of a wolf. It looks like a dog, but it says wolf and everything, so. Hey, Melvays, welcome. I fuck it. That's a great intro you've got there. Wings with a chainsaw. Oh, that's cool. I like I like that information. I'm glad that we can see this is we live in a cool time where we can play games together. And then you can also we can enhance each other's understanding of the games as well. That's so fucking cool. Oh, chunky boy. How are you, Malvez? Ooh, we've got a cassette player. Lucky I've got just the thing for this. Son of a bitch. Am I just not at the perfect angle? Yeah, I was at the perfect angle. Okay. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? 
You've been here a long time. I'm good, time. thank you very much for asking. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away. Aww. Threw them into the abyss. That was nice of him. Or her. Their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. Shame. So, she has slumbered ever since. In the womb of the Holy Mother. Until the time of the awakening. Woo. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, thanks. <laughs> Father Vincent. Sarcastic much? I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Because of her great faith. But I, I was thinking, I do actually have a sombrero. I could add that to my list of things I could wear. I could put the cat ears on top of the sombrero. But will people get think that it's like racist for me to wear? Even though technically I... Does that um, mean yeah. this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? Yes, it does. It's going to be totally if paradise. If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. God kind of wills everything to be fucking evil. What are these letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions? People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumours that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? LS. <gasps> That's actually my initials, by the way, but it this has nothing to do with me. I, I, but I'm not, I'm not a child of God. Yeah, cultural appropriation is such bullshit. <laughs> Sharing ideas is now seen as a, appropriating them. But uh, that's that's political. I won't go into that. I think it's just gonna be a matter of if I want to wear. A sombrero, I will, because I think sombreros are fucking cool. That's the entire of my reasoning for wearing one. They're fucking cool. I like them. But some people may believe that's cultural appropriation. Those people are silly people. Which way am I fucking facing? Yeah. Fucking hell, Cam was going well wonky then. Is this a fucking empty room? Looks like it. Oh, now I can't find the fucking door out. Oh, it's in the middle of that wall. Oh, there's a three of them in here now. Let's see how many tarot cards I've got now. One, two, three, four. I still need five more? Surely not. Unless this area is really fucking huge. Got the High Priestess Tarot cards. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, okay. So he could be the one. What, like he kind of powers the shifting? That's cool. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. It looks like this is her diary. Oh, okay. 
November 10th. She didn't die then, she was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read or read the Book of Praise. I want to thank the Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I'd been searching for in there, how to awaken God, but it's too much, it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves Child Exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though that's, and that's what's hard. Okay. My name is Brown, is it? On my screen, it's green. I've got uh, Malface. Mind you, I'm using a TV as a monitor, so it, the colours are a bit wonky. Um, I've got Count in purple, Beta pink, and Malface in kind of green. I've got two greens, but one's light green. Hey! Five cards in total, that's cool. There's an old birthday card on the desk, so she was still hanging on to this. Happy birthday to little Claudia. Happy birthday. I love you as if you were my real... No, I tried. <laughs> to little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. Ooh, okay. Right, so if there's only five, then it's time for me to head to the room of cards. That's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, that's fighting talk right there. So, left, right, forward, right. Fucking really? Get up. Fine, okay. This is the way it's going to be. Oh, the way it's going to be is I've got to fucking reload. And get on your... Really? Really? Ugh. There he is. Being a naughty little... Oh, for some reason I thought, yeah, sorry, the, uh, the graphics played tricks on my eyes then. This is such a fucking, this is the best room so far. This hallway is so fucking cool. Even if it is meant to like signify me burning alive. Yeah, I could have gone through there. But it's on easy anyway, so I thought I'd use the shotgun. Might as well. That is the fucking coolest room. This room's cool as well, but I've seen this effect already. Oh, Chunky Boy is sitting there. So I need to go... Left, forward, right. That's not the right room. That one there. Straight across. Then. Oh, it's all going wonky in here. Like little leeches. It does look like blood running upwards. I suppose in the second game, everything. the effect was things shifting. This one doesn't have so much shifting involved. But it's cool that you said about that, is it Vatiel? About him controlling the shifting. Even though you said he's kind of passive. Sounds like he's got designs on things. Ooh. 
like in your basement. Oh, I've missed your evilness, Malvez. I've missed it. Huh. Is there any kind of like compendium? Is there any like official compendium of the story? Because it'd be interesting. Right, have I read anything that gives me a clue to how I'm meant to put these up here? More likely that. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viren Seven Crest or the Seal of Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength therefore places a very high burden on the caster, as it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron after the angel Metatron or Metatron, also known as the Agent of God. Okay, that didn't give me a clue to how I put things up there. I think I've missed something that will help me out here. Hmm. Oh, does it automatically place them? No, it doesn't automatically place them. I've got to. Okay, I don't remember seeing any kind of clue for this. There's no point in me guessing it. Um, is the clue in here? Oh, wait a minute. Fucking the, the, the thing on the book. The thing on the bed. Okay. <laughs> no time for selfies. Uh, you missed the selfie earlier. You missed me showing off um, a sp spider robot. It is unlocked. Yeah, I had a glitch. I thought... I felt bad because I thought maybe I'd hit easy automatically. But um, Count did some digging and actually checked my when I first started the game. And I didn't start it on easy. So I don't feel bad anymore. At first I was like, I don't feel like people are getting their money's worth. <laughs> So I tried playing it with just the mace, didn't work because the mace couldn't hit certain enemies. So now I'm thinking, fuck it. I'm just going to fucking Bruce Campbell my way through this shit. If the camera angles would allow it. Oh, camera angle, please work with me. What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. 
then I could relax. He doesn't want God to be reborn because it'd be inconvenient, was his exact word. God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. In my own way. I fear her, and I adore her. But I haven't lost my mind like you. Hmm. You think that this is the work of God? Isn't this all nothing more than your own personal nightmare? Just like Alessa 17 years ago? If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. Actually, I do agree with him there. You mock God? You mock eyebrows. You will go to hell. <laughs> Not that again. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I know it, just, it could do with a bit of a mop, and maybe a bit more colour. Home, Vincent. Home. This church is my home. The upward flames room. I built the flames. The upward power. flames room. The flames room the was pretty fucking cool. You with such scorn. Yeah. Although I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. Continue to get in my way. Did you help me? <laughs> well, let me. Well, the guest of honor has arrived. Let's get this party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. That's got his Lilith. Ow! Oh, the only Lilith I know about is from Darkstalkers. Actually, Darkstalkers in Borderlands. I don't know of many other Liliths. Although I did meet a Lilith. Because Lilith is a cool name. I used to call her Lilith. I always used to say her name like it was evil. She was a really sweet lady as well. Alessa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. But I thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. Dun, dun, it's time dun. for mankind to be released from the shackles of sin which bind them. But a God born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Happy people can be so cruel. To believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering. Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt? Because maybe God should just show up and actually say so. You know that only God can save us. And save you too. Happy ending. But if he's omnipresent and omnipotent, then surely he can be like, or he or she can be like, can you, you know, could you slow down a bit? Or That's be like, can you sacrifice seven more goats for me? Unless it's more, uh, more, unless you mean a more pantheistic way. I tend to lean more towards pantheism. If I was forced to choose a religion, it would be pantheism. But only on a metaphorical level, not as a, not on a literal. To try to hasten the day of her arrival, sacrifices were made. Those are my sins. It's quite, it's highly likely. I do have a habit of talking over things. Okay, that makes sense. That Lilith is a succubus in Dark Stalkers. I mean, I I was of the assumption that Heather is either God is she is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost kind of thing because that they've got that what's it called not pictography. The seal of Metatron. 
she is her own trinity by looks of things. Just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Yeah, that's right. From from the pictures on the walls. It can kill God. I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're pathetic. She's gonna stab him in the face. Oh. Okay, so a little bit of dignity left. I mean, it did mention that uh, religions copy from other religions, so that that then put the Trinity kind of in in the place there. No, oh. I can't get over her eyebrows. I just can't stop looking at the lack of them. Now, Alyssa, there's nowhere else to run. Thank you for the warning. Before she gives birth. Oh shit! That is one amazing like body sock she's wearing. An animated one. Just accept it, Alessa. That's how you know she's truly evil. Disappear. Or just an albino. I give birth today, bitch. If she just burped out this evil cloud of evil, that would have been great. Your stinking mouth, bitch! Fair play. God damn it, why did I fall for it? I, f I fell for the evil. I fell for the evil. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. That's what I get for trying to Bruce Campbell. I did say him a few minutes ago that I was Bruce Campbelling my way through it. And that's the exact same kind of mistake Bruce Campbell does make. So. Okay. Have I got to do the door again? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I say Vincent is dead, but oh, I missed what it said. There's a hole in the floor. I don't care about that right now. All right. She's a bit passive aggressive when she um when she doesn't want to look at something. It's like I don't want to look at that right now. Well, all right. Okay. Oh, am I nearing... I'm guessing I must be nearing the end then. I might have to play another game if I get to the end. You want some bacon? Boom! I should have saved you now. She could put some lip balm on.
Ah, okay. Wait, 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 wait. She is nearly here. Let's do that Star Trek noise again. Oh, there's a little fetus. Hell fetus. What is this? That is your god. Looks like God didn't make it. Should have boot it across the room. Stop! <laughs> My baby! Oh, she's going to eat it. Oh, she's going to give it to her own womb. Fair play. That's, that's dedication. Lessa, you cannot kill God. I will... <laughs> nom, nom, nom. He's pretty strong. He just fucked that floor up at the same time. Like it was nothing. Like it was made out of fucking cheese. I don't... I probably don't want to look down there, do I? I want to get out of here, but I just can't. This is for Dad and for myself. Oh, I'm jumping down the hole. And I can't save. Okay, well, I'm fucking Bruce Campbell up, so... I just wish I had a chainsaw. <laughs> Ooh. Well, some... Yeah. Oh, some cool visuals going on. Go to kill you. kill you. This is God. Let's have a look around here. I was going to do some, uh... Bruce Campbell lines. Right. Put your head down there. Don't put your head down. 
How about some hot chocolate, huh? How about some hot chocolate? Let's just make sure I'm not dying before I start showing off. Should we use the Uzi? Yeah, why not? So like she's eating her own body. Shit, that fucking one thing really fucked me up. Doesn't seem to do anything when I'm up there. She is not very happy. Not entirely sure if I'm doing the right thing or not. Run! That's why I should keep on running. Well, the spike's getting further in. Or is that just me? I think it's just me. Move, move, move! Ah. Spikes are coming further in, aren't they? Running low on health! Yes, yeah, it doesn't look like she needs a piss. button Luke
Okay, I can actually hit her from here. Shooting her in the womb. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I started using the pistol then, it was so much easier, because the shotgun, you spend 10 minutes reloading each time. And you can shoot her in the womb. That always pisses them off. Yeah. Keep on. Goody little two shoes. Oh, she could turn into version two. Is that the end? I guess it's time to roll the credits. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Dad. <laughs> no. Yeah, don't lean too far forward. The spike's going right towards you. So I've probably got the bad ending again where you just survive. I hope I've got a partially good ending. I just I just hope I don't get the worst. Unless you actually have to jump through crazy hoops to get the, the worst. Oh, okay. I think you're kind of locked into one ending. Huh. Oh, he's still alive. Fair play. She's gone mad. Well, gone mad. Subjective, I suppose. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> You've got terrible taste. He's right. <laughs> Heather, did you... You don't have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. You gonna let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? <laughs> yeah, why not? I mean, you can see her roots, so that's quite a good little nod. Okay. Um. Well, I'll definitely try and get the fifth one, uh, the fourth one, ready. Um. Like I said, I had some trouble with the website we used for that one, but I'll give that one another try. Um, I'll keep on going through them. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll, ch I'll keep on trying to um, go through them as they released. If I can get them working. Although, the... <laughs> awesome. 
That was cool. I could love the chainsaw. Johnny really outdo himself with that one. Um, yeah, worst case scenario, I might have to play the PCSX2 version with dodgy shadows. Doesn't bother me having dodgy shadows, it's just that first person camera was wonky. Um, right, what's the time? It's still early. Um, this song is. That song's kind of lame. Although the, the music for it is good. Oh, what did I get? Rank four stars. Is that good? I don't know. Or is that eight stars? I don't. I don't understand. Uh, riddle level easy. <laughs> Fucking hell. Clear time five hours. That song can fuck off. New game extra. Beam saber. So lightsaber. Extra costume. Nice. If you select this and then enter the password, you can get a new costume. The password. The, the, you got the. That's a bit. That's a bit weird. Let me. Um, Take a picture of that. Happy birthday. Is this like gonna be this isn't gonna be her birthday suit, I know that much. Maybe it's the bunny suit? That'd be cool. Was it extra costume? Okay, let's <laughs> wait. You got a flame for her? Don't mess with me, man. What is it just... I've got to put extra costume. What's the point in this? I've got to put happy birthday, have I? Does it have to be like case sensitive, or will it just hap Will it allow me to just put happy birthday? Oh. Okay, fair enough. Um, where's just space? Where's the space bar? Words start with caps, no spaces. Oh, okay. Sorry, I should really look at the screen more often. Oh, Tryhard's doing Jackbox streaming. That's cool. What am I getting wrong here? Okie dokie, you have a good, um, have a good doggy walkies. Did I not put birthday? You got the extra costume password. Really? Why, why is it being so fucking anal? Okay, so... I 
Hopefully I'll be streaming something else by the time you get back. Have good doggo walko walkies. The birthday is one word. It's cheeky cheeky monkeys. You got the got a heather shirt. I wonder if I could look online for different ones. Okay. Extra new game. Normal. Normal. Does she automatically wear it or? Okay, so she's like punk. Punk Heather. That's a cool top. Very nice. It's not quite Claire Redfield booty, but it's 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 nice. I wonder if there's any other. I forgot where the Eon was then. I'm gonna see if there's other Silent Hill free codes. Oh, do you say how do I know that I've got the have I got it just in my inventory? I have no. What is this what you're talking about on the third floor? Cleanse them with flame. Oh, I've got to go get it, okay. Bakery. That's quite near the beginning, is it? Okay, that's on normal there. So it's not glitched over to easy yet. Does it give me the the maps? Go on. Ah, oh. see, that would have been the better price. It's giving me the fucking maps from the beginning. This isn't bakery. Oh yeah, I got a beam saber. I've got to find that in the same place I take it. I've missed a map of night. I just want to take a look. Oh, there we go. After beating the game, oh, I didn't see a new message. Uh, after beating the game, once using mostly melee weapons to kill monsters, have a mix of well, beam saber she found on the first floor is the door knob. Okay, sorry, I'm a little bit brain dead. Um, I wasn't planning on starting a second run. Um, so it's 
second floor north corridor um okay North Corridor. Well, this is the most northern I can go, so that's... On a door as a doorknob? Oh, okay. That's weird, but fair enough. I'll check all the doors. What a weird thing. Oh. Okay, so if I do want to carry on, that's the uh, that's the next bit. Gonna get a bit saber. Uh, extra game, I believe. Fuck, where is it? Um, it should be there's no in the second floor north corridor central square shopping. And let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you, and you'll receive the. Be depending on which version of Silent Hill created, and you'll receive the. This hallway. Once you reach the end of the hallway, invest. Melee weapons, but anyways, it's on the second floor of the shopping center down this hallway. Once you reach the end of the hall, at least once, and they show the map uh, at least once, completed um, beam saber, you need to have completed Sun Hill 3. Um, okay, that seems to be at the end of the hallway I went to already. Maybe I just didn't invest, I maybe I investigated the door rather than the doorknob. That's the one he goes to. Yeah. What well, weird dog knob about I could oof it, oof, take it off. Um, that's the door from the from the uh, the video, guys. I've just gone to the exact same video. Did I have to put it in the password as well? Okay, I can return. I don't mind. And that looked like the door in the video. No password. There's no other doors. On the video, oh, let me zoom in. On the video, it shows that end door there, because it's at the end of the walkway. I mean, I've got the t shirt.
There's I'm not sure which door, buddy. There's there's loads of them. Return to where? So I'm going to give up in a moment. I'll give it one last try. Guide me, my friend. Remember, there is a lag of about five seconds, so I will stop at crossroads. Do 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 do. Okay, am I going back downstairs? Trust me, I'm the most confused. The video looked like it was this one here, because it's at the end of the very long corridor. It looks like in the video... Uh, that one. I am thinking I'm going to give up now. Yeah, but I thought we're not going for the flamethrower. I thought we were going for the, the lightsaber. The bakery. The bakery's out on the... I think we're talking about two different things. I thought I was going for the lightsaber, not the flamethrower. I'll take a look. Where is it? Oh, that's not it. Where's the bakery? Oh, there it is. It said that I unlocked the um, the saber. It's right. I can watch the video back later. I'll watch the video back and find out exactly what I I did. I, it said uh, beam saber. But uh, I'm gonna quit out for now. It's right. We'll figure it out sometime. But I'm gonna come back online in about fifteen minutes.
yeah, the PC version is bugged to hell, to be fair. Uh, but um, I don't know what to play, though. Um, let me take a look in my Steam. Because I downloaded some of the kind of weird and wonderful things. Like this We Went Back uh, that you told me went... Um, We went back. Is that what I should do next? Okay, I can do that because that um, wasn't it. Did you say count is only about an hour or so long? That way I won't be up too late again. I one vote. Stream, stream of power. I think I'll do We Went Back. So if you want to give me... Oh. <laughs> we'll do that. And then um, we'll see what I do tomorrow. I've, oh, I've got to carry on with... Well, Resident Evil and Parasite Eve 2. But I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And then possibly get Silent Hill working. Right, well... Yeah, Vader, what do you think? What should we play next? You can be the deciding vote. Either We Went Back, which is it's not too long, it's 45 minutes. Or the first chapter of... The other one. Uh, in about 15 minutes. I'm going to take a break, then restart the uh, the stream. Yeah. Uh, now, in about 15 minutes. Okay. I mean, I don't mind. I think those two are indie games, so... Okie dokie. Um, well, if they're both about 45 minutes, I might be able to fit both of them in. So we'll see. Um, I'll start with... Um, we went back, just because it was the first one that was mentioned. Um, so yeah, if you want to catch me back, well, I'll put it in the Discord in about 15 minutes. And, um, and I'll be back. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you for tuning in again. Doesn't mean I've got to take the cat ears off though. <laughs> Catch you guys soon. Catch you in a bit.